be able to interact with each other. So. It engages the students so quickly. They see technology and they're so interested already. The students were reading To Kill a Mockingbird. So what we did, we went in and we picked out scenes that the students could do and they recreated the scenes on Puppet Pals. It's an application on the iPad. The ETech Ohio grant has allowed us to change in many ways the way we prepare pre-service teachers to use technology to enhance their instruction and to enhance the learning of the students in the classroom. The technology that we use is iPods, iPads, netbooks, and MacBooks. We also use uh, clicker technology or audience response technology. It's also allowed us to provide local schools with support for their own tech integration, including training their faculty and, in this case, taking our students into those very classrooms. Beforehand, I had no, no experience with working with a Mac, working with an iPad, working with um, inspiration or anything, but with the way the course was set up, they showed us the basics. They kind of let us explore what we wanted to do with it. So that was a good way to allow us to become comfortable. So now I could say I, I feel like I'm totally comfortable with using technology. When the young people pick up the technology that they were practically born with and find that they can use that to enhance their learning, then the teacher becomes the facilitator and the guide rather than the lecturer. So anything we can do to get them to pay more attention in class and get them to focus is going to improve their ability to not just pass the test, but also in terms of their future. Um, the lesson was great. I think we um, had a fun time moving around and really getting into the book. This is where the students are. Whether we use the technology or not, they're going to use it. And we become more and more irrelevant to them if we don't engage in their world. Uh, as Daniel Pink says, we have to prepare our students for their future, not our past.